Howdy everybody, I'm just here. Oh. Howdy everybody, as you can see from what I'm doing down here, I'm actually uh, doing uh, a pasta meal and I've got in this fry pan here I've got uh, onion, white and red onion. I have green and red chilies, fresh chilies. I also have uh, chili powder, or oh, sorry, chili flakes. I have Italian mixed herbs. I also have parsley in there here. I put a little bit of oil in it just to uh, brown the uh, mince and the onion and all that, and get that a bit of a color to it. And as you see, I'm um, giving it a stir to keep it moving. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, put some uh, pasta sauce in it, uh, which I'm going to go and get now. So, so what I actually use, is I actually use uh, cheap uh, Coles brand uh, Italian pasta sauce. Uh, I've opened the lid already for this. Uh, yeah, so there's the lid open. I'm now going to tip this into here. Uh, I now go back out into the kitchen area, uh, which, by the way, is a bit dark at the moment, but now I've listened it up a bit. I'll put in a bit of water into the, into the jar just to uh, get all the excess out uh, put the lid back on give it a good shake to get all the excess off um, off of the lid as well as you can see it's pretty well off the lid I tip that into with this Now that I've done that, I now give it a bit of a stir up, uh, like so. Uh, it's strange that I'm the way I'm doing this is because I'm actually cook it, doing this cook in this part of the cook anyway in my bedroom because there's my bed there. Um, because at the moment my uh, stove is not working so I've got a big uh, spare temporary one out there which is a one plater I have that uh, in my kitchen area I will now put the lid on it and just let it uh, minimize I'll turn the uh, heat down from one to uh, just on the simmer I'll leave that uh, yeah, so uh, this is the, as I say, this is the stove I've got. It's sitting on me actual hot plates because my hot plates are no longer working. Uh, they've taken, removed the knob so that I can't use it because it is dangerous. So they've given me a temporary thing, which this is a hot plate and a small oven. Uh, yeah, so I'm using that to. Uh, do everything. Uh, now that I've uh, done that, I've now got a pot out. I'm going to put some uh, water into this uh, for the pasta. So that should be enough. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this onto the hot plate here I'm going to uh, turn the hot plate on to on uh, and I'm going to turn around to uh, three no maybe maybe five to get this get the pot working and starting to boil I'm now going over to my pantry and I'm uh, getting the salt out I'm now going back over to the pot and I'll put some salt into the water for the pasta. Um, 
These are the spices that I've put in. I've put some fresh chilli as well as uh, some hot dried chilli, crushed chilli. Uh, I'll put some uh, Italian mixed herbs in it as well. In, that's in the mince. I've also put some parsley flakes in the mince. So uh, that's all cooking up. They are in the, in the, in the other room at the moment. Uh, now I'm going to try and figure out uh, as to which pasta I'm going to use. I have, uh, basically, I have two choices of pasta. I have this pasta here, and I also have this pasta here. So what I'll do is I'll open both containers up. Pardon me for the moving the moving around in the camera. Um, but I'm trying to hold the camera at the same time as doing all the recording. So in here I have uh, hello pasta, which is uh, panini pasta, and in this one I have uh, twirling twirls or spiral spiral pasta. Uh, so when the when the water there boils, I'll put in uh, one full measuring cup, one full measuring cup, and half a measuring cup of whichever pasta I am choosing to use today. I'm not sure, I'm just gonna put the lids back on the lids back on the pasta so they don't um, go yucky on me. Uh, so that's what I'm that's that part of it. I've got the water in on on the stove to boil. I better put the lid on actually so that that uh, makes it boil much easier. And going into my bed back into my bedroom where the back door is, I have my uh, mince and um that in here sim uh, slowly keep keeping a cook on it and hopefully reducing the liquid in it um so this is what i'm doing at the moment i'll come back to further uh get to the stage where i'm putting the pasta in i will come back there and i'll show you the pasta i'm putting in and uh yeah it'll be uh Quite an interesting uh, meal that I'm doing as well. So uh, those that don't know, uh, my name's Brian, and I'm, I'm doing uh, a cook show today uh, for my uh, YouTube viewers. Uh, I hope you enjoy this cook show. Um, I'll come back to it as I'm going, and uh, when the water is ready to put the pasta in, I'll be back to. Yeah, so I'm back, people. Um, the water is bubbling away there so I'm now going to figure out which pasta I'm going to put in um, will I do a spiral or will I do panku um, I think I'll do panku pasta today uh, so I'll get my cup out and I'll get a full cup stick in there this way into the uh, into my bedroom where my other meal is. I'll put the lid down there so it doesn't go dripping on that. And as you can see it is uh, starting to reduce the liquid which is exactly what I want it to do. Uh, once that's done I will be happy. I'll let that, let that uh, stay. I'll keep it on the same heat for a while. Um, yeah, a little bit of thinner. That uh, green there that you're seeing uh, is actually uh, green chili that I've added into it. Uh, the green chili, the red chili is in there as well. Uh, I'll try and get a piece of the pen. Uh, there's the red chili. Yeah, so I've got that all cooking there. That's coming along nicely. I'll put the lid back on uh, and let it keep on cooking. There it is there. Cooking. Yeah, so we're back in the kitchen area here and I've uh, put the lid on by all these two containers 
and I'm now putting them back. That was the Pantese, and now for the spiral uh, pasta that's going on top. Um, as you see, I have uh, containers there which you've got sugar and coffee in them and custard sugar down the bottom. Uh, yeah, so that's what the pantry is looking like. Uh, there's not a lot in there at the moment, but uh, yeah, the uh, pasta is going pretty cool at the moment. I will uh, just get a, a uh, bring here to uh, give it a bit of a stir um, to encourage the pasta to um actually cook because if you give it a stir while it's cooking it actually uh cooks properly i then put the lid on as i said as you see i don't put the lid on properly so the steam goes up to the fan up there instead of being uh in here that's cooking out there in there so that's going good i've got that going and i'll come back uh when i've got when i getting closer to the end of it and uh, because it, it takes a while to cook it's uh, the whole process is around about an hour of cooking uh, because I like to make make sure that the liquid minimizes as, as good as I want it pasta once that's cooked I'll strain that out I'll show you me straining that out and um, yeah and the way that you treat pasta when you're straining it out how you do it um, yeah, so this is another, this is a cooking one for everybody. Uh, so I hope you're enjoying my cooking, uh, and I'll be back with you, uh, when... As you see, I'm still with you. As you see, the pasta is pretty well cooked. Um, I'll sort of fast forward a fair bit. Uh, yeah, the pasta is cooked, uh, and the, uh, Mint, uh, the meat, meat bolognese is uh, ready as well. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to keep this going whilst I go and strain the pasta. Now, um, yeah, it'll be quite interesting uh, watching this part of the procedure. Um, I've got to go here, I've got to get me strained out uh, for the pasta. Uh, I'm going to put the strainer in the sink. I'll turn that off altogether. And uh, as I said, I've got to strain the pasta, so I kept that into there to strain. Uh, now that I've actually strained it, I'll put it in the pot. I'll run the hot water, the tap on the hot water to um, basically it, the hot water is to actually clear anything off. You shake the pasta around under the hot water uh, to get all the excess um, off of it and then you put it back in the pot to let it strain uh, while that's doing that you uh, I will then get a, um, a bowl uh, because I have bowls, special bowls for the pasta uh, I'll use the larger bowl and what you do when the, all the pasta is strained and you make sure it is strained properly As you see, I'm shaking around, making sure there's no more water there. You then add your pasta to the bowl. Uh, just level it out a bit so that it's leveled out. So you have your pasta there. Uh, I'm going to put you um, down and I'm going to walk uh, out of your view most likely. I'm going to go and get the, uh, the meat. I now have the meat part uh, which I brought into here. I'll move this over to the deep sink. 
Uh, just see the face as it's stable. I then get a ladle out. I have plenty of ladles here. So I get the ladle out. Um, and then I get in with the bonanese. And usually for this sort of bonanese, two decent, two and a half decent spoons of the pasta, the bonanese looks pretty cool. Um, I then go to my cupboard. Um, uh, I don't know how much of that you Thank you all for coming. Thumbs up. 